Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Sunday night here in Carlsbad, California. And uh, the streets are rather clear tonight, but maybe there'll be a train before the end of this video. Who knows? So anyway, my name is Kent. Uh, the channel is EOS San Diego, and I make videos about the EOS blockchain. And today, uh, we've been testing the challenge application. Of course, I've been promising now for some time that we will release the third version of the challenge application, which um, allows you to do a geolocation challenge on your cell phone on the EOS blockchain. And uh, uh, we, we, we tested quite a bit today. Uh, if you want to follow our testing to see uh, the tests that actually are running on the test net, uh, go to the Jungle Test Net, uh, go to Block Explorer. It's right below on the Jungle Test Net. If you go above where all the headings are at, one of, one of, the, uh, one of the links is to Block Explorer. And when you get to Block Explore, Explore, Explorer, I'm sorry, I can't talk tonight, type in uh, Challenge App. Uh, C H A L L E N G E A P P, and you can actually see the challenges that we're doing on the Jungle Testnet, and see the progress, and see that those challenges are actually going through, and that we're able to transfer tokens back and forth between accounts. So, if you want to check it, uh, follow the progress, and see what we're doing. It's all on the blockchain right now. It's on the Jungle Testnet. Uh, of course, we're ready to upgrade to the main net. Uh, we know it's working well on the Jungle Testnet, so when we go to the mainnet, it should work even better because things work better on mainnet than they do on the testnet. So we're hoping for really good results. Look for this to possibly be available uh, in a week. Uh, that's what we're hoping for. In a week, we should be able to get it out to Apple. Now, once we give it to Apple, we don't know how long it actually takes for Apple to update it because that's up to Apple. So we're going to push it out to Apple in about a week. And in the meantime, you just you can follow our progress on the Jungle Testnet. Like I say, go to Block Explorer, go to Jungle Testnet. I think it's by Crypto Lions. Then go to Block Explorer. It's one of the one of the links down below, uh, uh, right above the where the uh, transactions are taking place. And then that'll take you to Blocks IO, Jungle. I think Blocks.io Jungle. Uh, and then there you can type in Challenge App, and right there you can see all the transactions. You can see all the challenges that we've made and all the tra transactions taking place. So, uh, there's proof that we're actually doing what we say we're doing, and this is not a white paper and not a website, and not something that's uh, years in the making that has yet to be developed. We have completed it, we have developed it, and it is working on the Jungle Testnet. So we are getting close to launching one of the few applications that actually is up and running and working on the blockchain the Ethereum blockchain or the EOS blockchain. Um, and something that's unique to the blockchain, or the unique to this, uh, to the EOS blockchain, uh, not something that's been done before as far as we know. I haven't seen anything else close to this that, we, that anybody's done before. Um, so anyway, this is a unique idea, brand new idea. We're hoping that it works really, really well. We're really close to, uh, to getting it launched and we're really excited about it. And we think this is a good time to do it. Uh, market is very soft. There's not a lot of things going on right now. So to see something launched in, uh, at this time, hopefully there's not a, a hundred other things people are watching. I mean, they're trying to find things to feel good about. So hopefully, you know, we can find, we can get this going and people can feel that some progress is taking place, even though we know progress is taking place, but actually see it uh, and see the finished product. And the finished product should be available very, very, very soon. Um, and outside of that, you know, price is pretty, pretty low. It's pretty soft. We've been talking about that for a while. I'm looking for better prices and better days ahead. We're very early in this game. Uh, I think people are still trying to figure out how to develop on EOS. Um, but I see there's more and more tools and it's becoming a lot easier. And I'm going to have uh, maybe my son Chase talk a little bit about development because he's a bigger developer than I am. And he's I've done a lot of work here on the challenge application. So once this gets up and running, uh, we'll actually uh, maybe do some some uh, some videos on that uh, and, and give you some background and feedback about how this is working and what we're doing and how we did it and uh, how easy or how hard it is to do. Because uh, I think more people need to be building on a blockchain. More people need to put value back in the blockchain. Um, it seems that a lot of people want to be involved with EOS, but they just don't know quite how to do it outside of you know, maybe getting rewards or 
you know, um, investing in the token. But uh, obviously this is a utility token and it's, 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 it's built to, to build on. It's, it's designed to build on. And that's why it is uh, scalable. And that's what I think uh, Dan Larimer and Block One decided what they wanted to do. They wanted to have people build on this to build value. That's why I'm extremely excited about EOS is because everything that gets built on EOS, if you own the token, you have a little piece of. Um, and as far as the challenge token is concerned, we put out a uh, hundred and or over two point, um, I can't remember, it was uh, 2.7 billion tokens at to 160 some thousand accounts. And many of those accounts are still on mainnet. So we still pay for the RAM for those accounts. And we will continue to pay for the RAM for those accounts. We're not gonna pull it back. Uh, the way that works is when you uh, launch a smart contract to launch a token, you have to pay for that RAM. And of course, um, I think people watched my previous videos, we paid a pretty penny for the RAM. That was very expensive in those days. Uh, RAM has come be become quite a bit cheaper since that time. But we still maintain, I think, 36 megabyte of RAM to, to support those tokens. So uh, those tokens are still on mainnet and they're still available for people to, uh, to, to use and do whatever they wish. Uh, to negotiate, on con uh, to neg negotiate with, uh, with exchanges or to just to put in their own wallet but they're very available and we'll keep them available um, because the, obviously we don't do anything with it now. We've already paid the money and, 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 and I mean, although we could technically um, uh, pull that, those tokens back, we could just, uh, we could, we could, we could, we could just uh, get that memory or get all that RAM back and eliminate those tokens. But we're not gonna do that because we wanna create a community around uh, the challenge token. And that's why we continue to pay the RAM. That's why we paid the RAM from the beginning. We didn't ask anybody to share in that cost. We took, we absorbed all that cost ourselves. And uh, like I said, we continue to maintain that RAM uh, just to support the token and have the token so people can use it, trade it, to, uh, do whatever they wish with it. Because uh, we're trying to establish a community and we're trying to establish people that uh, get involved and are interested. And like I say, we don't even ask you to buy the token to use the application. Uh, in fact, we're trying to promote some other tokens on the application. So the use of the application, and I don't know how many tokens we're going to be using, uh, but we will be using other tokens to be able to use it in a, in a challenge. So we're not only not asking you to buy our token, we're actually encouraging everybody to use whatever token they wish, because we know there's a number of airdrops out there. And of course, we support all the EOS airdrops and we support all the exchanges because that is value in the EOS blockchain. Uh, we don't, we don't, uh, you know, we don't, we don't, we feel everybody, we, we we're hoping other people build on the blockchain. We're not wanting, we think we know the more people to build and the more success on the EOS blockchain means more success for everybody. Uh, so the more other people build and the more things that start to generate on the EOS blockchain, it means the better it is for us. So actually we're, we're big supporters of everybody that's uh, got an application and everybody that's, that's launched a token on the S blockchain. And we're trying to encourage as much, um, as much activity as possible on the S blockchain because that's what makes the blockchain worth money. And that's what's going to bring more value to the blockchain and more, more value to the people that own the token. So if you wanna check it out, check it out in the Jungle Testnet. Uh, it's up there and running. And uh, I'll put a link below to the test net. And uh, like I say, it's very simple to find uh, the transactions. It's very simple to, to, to track us and see what we're doing on that jungle test net. Very soon to be on EOS mainnet. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.